Hey guys, this is just a short video on how to clean a Marlin lever action rifle, like this one here. Before we begin, just a quick caveat. When it comes to rifle cleaning and maintenance, a lot of people seem to have their own opinions about the best way to go about it. The information contained in this video is just my opinion, based on my own experiences and research. So keep that in mind when you're watching. With that out of the way, always make sure that your rifle is unloaded before you do any maintenance work on it. And always treat it as if there's a live around in the chamber. By that, I mean don't point it at anyone. For this video, you'll need the gear listed there. Alright, let's get into it. First of all, grab your gun vise, cleaning mat or an old bed sheet. Throw it on your bench, then place the rifle on top of it. Flick your lever outwards until the back of the bolt aligns with the back of the hammer. Then grab a small flat bladed screwdriver and undo the retaining bolt on the lever. Make sure that you use a properly fitting screwdriver for the job. If you don't, you'll strip the head of the bolt. Remove the retaining bolt and the lever. Spray with some gun cleaner and set aside. To remove the bolt, press down the hammer and slide the bolt rearward from the housing. Then remove a small ejector that's sitting inside the rifle. At this point, some of you will probably just shake the rifle and wait for it to drop out. That's fine, but take note of how it sits inside the rifle beforehand. This small tab will slide into a notch at the back of the rifle. Once you understand how it aligns, spray the bolt and the ejector with some gun cleaner, then set them aside. Next, hold the rifle on a downward angle and spray your gun cleaner into the barrel. Go slow and use short bursts of fluid. Once it starts to run out of the muzzle, you know that you've got enough lubrication in there. Before you start scrubbing the barrel, we should cover the basic rules of cleaning your rifle. Always clean the rifle from the chamber end out towards the muzzle. Never drag cleaning patches back through the barrel once dirty. This will drag lead, grime and other contaminants back inside the rifle. Always use the appropriate size cleaning rod for your rifle. This one is 27 cal upwards, which will work perfectly in my 3030. And finally, always match your rifle caliber to your jag and brass brush. Now into the cleaning. Connect your brass brush to your cleaning rod and gently feed it back and forth through your barrel. Like all good thrusting, you won't need to force it in there guys. Just push it smoothly and try to avoid stopping mid-stroke. I generally aim for 7 pumps to get the job done, but you can decide for yourself when you're satisfied. Replace your brass brush with your jag and cut two dozen cleaning patches. I usually trim mine into 1 inch squares. Spray a small dot of gun cleaner onto a patch and either fold it over and slide it through the loop or poke it onto the tip of your jag, depending on which style you have then feed it through the chamber end of the rifle. Once it comes out of the muzzle, remove the patch and withdraw the rod. Repeat this process using a new patch every time. You'll know when you are done as the patches will start to come out clean. At this point, Run another two patches through your rifle, one at a time, but this time with no gun cleaner on them. This will absorb the excess oil in the barrel. With that done, you can use some gun cleaner and a cotton earbud to clean out your receiver. Next, take a rag and wipe over the parts that you removed earlier. To reassemble, Place the ejector back into the notch. Press down the hammer and slide in the bolt. It should be lined up with the rear of the hammer. Reposition your lever and attach it with the retaining bolt, making sure that it's firm but not over tightened. For the outside, take one of your clean rags, spray it with some ballastol and wipe over the metal and woodwork. And that's it, the rifle is now clean. 
before you put your rifle back in the safe, there's one other thing that you should check. That's the wooden forend grip. The screw located in the barrel band here is notorious for becoming threaded or broken. So if there's any excessive parts movement in this area, order a new one online and replace it before it breaks. Trust me, it's not a fun experience to go through while out in the field. Anyway, that's it for the video guys. Hopefully it helps you out. If you've got any feedback or suggestions, feel free to drop a comment below or check out our Facebook page. Um, we've also got the website there, which is ozfishinggame.com. That's O-Z, not A-U-S. Thanks for watching.